Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet and my furry feline Raven is on her kitty tree. She might jump here on the couch in a little bit so you can see her. I'm not feeling too good today, but I wanted to pop in and say hello and show you a little bit of yarn that I got from Ice Yarns. I didn't get but just a tiny order this time. Um, but I also wanted to thank all of my new subscribers. I've been getting subscribers left and right, it seems, for the past couple of weeks. And I'm very grateful that you guys are here with me and following my videos. And I hope you stick with me. Um, it's not as frequent, frequent as other YouTube podcasters, but I do have my own thing going on here with yarn and different projects and different tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, someone asked me in the comments and I forgot to answer. This drawing up here is one that I did back in 2003. Yep, 2003. I dated it. Um, that is actually Raven's, gra um, Raven's grandma. Her name was Wonder because she always wandered around just looking at things like, like she was always in a new place. <laughs> um, to finish high school I gave her to more next door neighbor that I grew up with. They always have cats in their house like we do, but they have like a lot more cats. She, um, she had a couple of litters and I came back from school and um, I took one of those litters. Um, it's a long story. I have a, a whole video on Raven in one of my yarn videos, but I can discuss that more if anyone is interested. Just, I highly doubt it, but Pretty much, Raven is fourth generation. Her great grandmother was a calico. This is her grandmother, Wonder. She had um, two litters, and then she had another cat that looked just like her, gray striped and, and a white tabby. And then I moved in with uh, one of my ex boyfriends at the time. I was 19. And um, then she had a couple of litters. And there was a black cat in the house. And so Raven looks just like her daddy, mostly black, and she's got a few white patches here. On her chest and on her lower belly and it's so cute because when Raven is um, rolling around on her back you can see all of her white markings and it kind of looks like she's wearing a little bikini where her white markings are it's so cute I'll have to hold if she jumps up here I'll hold her up and and let you guys see that so this ice yarns order was only fifty dollars and ninety one cents the freight charge was twenty three ninety five which was the shipping and the item value was twenty six ninety six so all together I got four packs of yarn for $50.91, which is not a bad deal with the shipping because I got eight, 16 balls of yarn. So that's, that's less than $2 per ball of yarn that I got on this order. As long as it averages out to $4 or minus, um, you add your total value of the yarn, add up your shipping all together, That'll give you your high number, right? Go through and, and add every single ball of yarn, whether it's eight in a pack or two in a pack, add all of those balls of yarn up, and then divide that number by the total amount of money you spent on Ice Yarn's website. And if it averages to $4 or less per ball of yarn, then you got a really good, damn good deal. And their shipping is fast. They use DHL shipping. I usually get my yarn within one week from ordering on their site, which is amazing because a lot of companies that you order within the states, they don't get to you near as quickly as ice yarns from Turkey does. So I'm amazed. Um, they're very good. You can email them. They're very prompt at getting back to you. If they send you the wrong yarn, you just email them and they will send you a new pack. Um, they sell crochet hooks and accessories and hook containers, all kinds of stuff. I have previously bought hooks from ice yarns and I highly recommend them. My favorite one, oh, it's right here. This is a six millimeter. It's by Tulip. If you go to Ice Yarn's website where the search engine bar is at the top, all you have to do is type in Tulip, T-U-L-I-P, and these hooks will come up. This one was $5. Um, they also have it, same brand. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Same brand, and they have the same sizes. I'm not sure why, though, but this one is $8. So the pink one is eight, and I guess the gray one is five. Different color metal. They appear to be tapered hooks. Yeah, I believe these are tapered. 
and they have pointy heads so you can go into your stitches quite easily and I'm telling you these work like butter with with your yarn and going through your stitches I'm actually working on a few granny squares right now here I'll show you real quick if you're interested go ahead and speed up the video if you don't want to see this but um, when I work my granny squares I go back and forth turning my work after each row that I end so that way it's a reverse, reversible granny square whenever I make a blanket I prefer it to be reversible if possible so that way I it doesn't matter if it's on one side or the other and you're not accidentally laying your blanket face you know face side down and then you got the ugly part showing up the back side pretty much I'm using a basic acrylic yarn right now it does split just a tiny bit um, I'm working with Red Heart yarn right now I can't even finish this block but this hook is amazing probably because I'm holding my arms up normally I just rest my arms on my sides and then I just get to crocheting but anyways once I finish one round I flip it and I and then I do the opposite so that way it looks reversible I already made a couple more granny squares I'm going to do a comparison at some point right now I'm working with the red heart with love super soft I love it it doesn't split hardly at all and then this one this one is craft smart value from Michaels and then this one is saver from ice yarns craft smart value yarn and saver exact same color there is just a smidge difference in the sheen of the yarn the craft smart value yarn has just a smidge more of a sheen but overall you can't even really tell the difference not in the slightest so these haven't been washed yet but once they've been through the washer and dryer cycles I will have more information to compare how it works up um, how it worked on the hook how it washes up what it looks like if it fuzzes or not and then what it looks like coming out of the dryer if it makes the fiber softer or more coarse or just whatever so I'm testing out three different yarns so back to the ice yarn I don't, like I said I only got four packs so this is a small order um, 70349 I got another package of this magic light in the tropical colors some of you may have seen this before in my other ice yarns and baggies but I'm making one of my sisters a shawl a real long white shawl that I want to make it lengthwise long ways so this is my third pack and I wanted to make sure I have enough which I'm sure I will I think eight skeins of this will be enough but then I'll have some left over I can make myself something else this is a light number three DK weight 100% acrylic so it is machine washable and dryable 100 gram skein 360 meters and you get four of these in a pack so that's like 14 plus 100 yards 1400 plus it's always a good idea to get a three dollar pack go to your once you have added up all the items that you want at ice yarns website go to the closeout yarns the cheapest you can get is like two dollars a pack of yarn but that's the um, mini purple ladder yarn they only have it in purple shades this one is 62758 Gina Viscose in the color dark gray. They have this in light gray and they have this in one other shade. I don't remember though. This one's dark gray. They have one in light gray. And I think there's a third one. I don't remember the color though. This is a summer yarn and it's $3 a pack. You want to add at least one. If you're doing a small order, like fifty eighty dollars add one of these it will it or at least two get at least two and that way you know you'll have enough for the project you want to make whether it's a summer top or a skirt or it could be a dress like a small dress and this is what it looks like but adding these three dollar packets of yarn will greatly significantly increase your value of yarn that you're getting and it will keep it'll, it'll keep your shipping costs lower say like if I add like five packs of yarn and none of those are three dollars they're like five ninety nine and up for six packs that would cost me about eighty dollars so when you add a three dollar pack in 
yeah, your increase in yarn value is going to increase, but your shipping is going to decrease just a smidge. Um, and what I mean by that is when you add these $3 packs of yarn, <clears throat> it's kind of hard for me to explain really. It increases the value of your yarn. It just gives you a better deal. It gives you a better deal. If you're doing a large order, add three of these or four of these, and they have like so many different kinds of, of yarn on their closeout section, probably like a hundred different kinds or more. Like I said, this one is a summer weight. It's a summer yarn. There is no information on this. Gina Viscose. It's 35% viscose, 65% acrylic. It is machine washable and dryable. It's a lightweight number two. And prefer, most of the time I don't like working with two weight yarns, but I got two packets of this, so I can work with these. Um, two skeins at a time and make it a number four. 50 gram skeins, 150 meters. I'm oh, not even sure you can see that. That's what it looks like and I think it's pretty pretty nice. It's got one strand wrapped around another strand and the dark gray is the acrylic and the shiny um, white on there is the viscose. So I think that was really, really pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm into gray a lot. It's such a neutral tone and it goes with anything. Two more packs I got. These, Both of these are in packs of two and they are ice yarns. One, um, one of two of ice yarns newest yarns. This one is Cakes Color in the purple colorway 70849. I do apologize but these but this one and the next pack I'm going to show you they sold out like hotcakes really quick. Um, these two colorways were only on, on, on Ice Yarn's website for like maybe a week before they sold out. But 393 yards per cake, if I recall correctly. It's a number four medium weight yarn, 100% acrylic, which I love because it's easily washable and dryable. It is super, super soft. Not quite as soft as Red Heart with Love, but it is very, very, very soft. You can make a sweater with this, make a hood scarf, anything really. Uh, 360 meters, I believe that's 393 yards if I read that correctly on the website. 100% acrylic. I can't see the grams on it. It might be 100 grams. But that's a gorgeous colorway. I thought it was really pretty. Oh, I'm also going to show you guys my yarn that's in my bedroom. I'll take you guys back there so you can see all my other yarn shelf. And then I have a yarn shelf right in front of me that I, um, I will show you guys. I've only done it in one other video. But um, I'm sure you new subscribers would love to see my yarn in my other rooms. The last one I got was a pack of two Cakes Chain Rainbow 70870. I should have bought two of these because the next day or two they were sold out completely of this color. Sold out. But if you're interested interested in this in these purple cakes or this rainbow black cakes, you can leave your email address to be notified when they come back with more in stock. This is rainbow and black. I should have got two um, two packs of these. But this again is um, ooh, this is more than 393 yards because it says 450 meters. So this alone would make a gorgeous scarf. And then two, two cakes of this, I can, make, um, I can make a small shawl if I want to. But this, when they say cakes chain, the yarn thread is actually chained. I'm not sure if you can tell. You probably can a little bit. I hope my lighting is okay, guys. I have the blinds open, but I've had a migraine for the past two days. I went to the hospital this morning, and they said I have flu-like symptoms. And I've been missing work the past couple of days, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I've had two doses of Tylenol today already, and I had some nausea medication because I've been having nausea and vomiting as well. No fun being sick. Um, I'm tired of it. Last year, last year was, I swear, my the worst year I've ever had in my life. And it had nothing to do with COVID. I don't care what anybody says. Last year for me was horrible. I mean, it was horrible for a lot of people. 
But for me, it had nothing to do with COVID except the times I had to wear a mask going to the hospital. I had my I had my gallbladder removed last year. I had a I had like several procedures done last year. I had a colonoscopy and endoscopy. I've had multiple ultrasounds and trying to figure out what's going on with my stomach, right? But ultimately my gallbladder came out. I had to go get two iron infusions within a one week time frame because I was really, really low on energy. I have um, fibroids in my uterus, so I bleed like every single day. I apologize if that's, if that's TMI. I apologize, but I'm um, back to the yarn, okay? I'm not here to talk about my health issues. I'm just kind of briefly explaining what's going on, but also letting you know I'm, I'm okay. Really, I'm okay. I've got pain medicine and, and any, anything else I need. Um, I picked up some apple juice today and I ate a banana. So I had some pumpkin seeds too. I like to snack a lot, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to go towards like healthier snacks instead of like chocolate donuts. I'm getting oatmeal raisin cookies, not as healthy, but it's certainly a lot healthier than a donut. And you gain weight fast on donuts. So anyway, that's all the yarn I got from Ice Yarns. I will go ahead and, and unclip you guys from my phone stand. And I'm going to show you guys the rest of my yarn. Okay. So right behind me, or right in front of me in my living room. Ta-da! So this here is a summer yarn. That is Lorena, Lorena Colorful. I got the blue way and the purple way, and then I've got, this is Angor Active. If you guys know of Blue Eyed Style, she used this to make a uh, Ruana Poncho shawl, and it's gorgeous. And then I've got Picasso in the purple and green. I got blue and purple, the dark rainbow, the bright rainbow, and this is one of my favorites. It's the blue and turquoise and black. This here is all Picasso. And then I got Baby Twist over here, white, gray, and black. So that way I can make several blankets, I can make some handbags, and I can make maybe maybe like a floor rug. I'm thinking about doing like a um, the white, the gray, and the black. I'm going to make like a circular rug, and it's going to incorporate all three colors, so it'll be like a ring of the Baby Twist color. I think that'll be really cool. What you guys normally see, if I'm not on my couch, is all my yarn here. This is my dining room area, and I have two short bookshelves here sitting on top of a table so I can get out my sewing machine, and I, I have table space to do other crafts when all this yarn is not here, right? Two five-foot bookcases here, and all of this is just stacked up with more ice yarns. This is not ice yarns. This is all Red Heart Super Saver I bought from Walmart. And most of these are just multiple different colors, so I can make a couple of rainbow blankets. And then here I'll take you to the bedroom. I'll show you my last shelf. Sorry, excuse the mess. Excuse the mess. Okay, okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? Ready? Ta-da! So these are five-foot bookcases, just like in the dining room. I still have some storage here and boxes I need to go through and purge. More ice yarns. This is this was three dollars a pack, and they have tons of this left. If you like gray, type this number in. They've got tons of it left. It's a number four medium worsted weight yarn, 100% acrylic, easily washable and dryable. It is a neutral color. You can use this to to um to border. You can use this to border um all of your blocks, your granny square blocks or whatever blocks you're putting together for a blanket. You can use this for the entire border. You can even use this on like a fleece blanket and you could you could crochet borders around fleece blankets too. So I have like six packs of this, which is no big deal. And it's a striped, it's a dark gray and light gray striped yarn, but I'm okay with that. Gray goes a long way just like beige does. Get some of these guys, $3 a pack. Uh, all of this, all of this here, Joann's and Walmart, Joann's. Most of this is from Joann's. I bought some from Annie's catalog. This is from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna make like a summer shawl with that. Uh, more Red Heart and I got a couple of cones from Ice Yarns. They don't have this color anymore, but they do have like a light yellow, I think, and like a light mint green. And that's a number two weight acrylic. And pretty much all of this here, one, two, 
three and four. This is all, all of that is ice yarns. And then up top here in the crates, these are milk crates that I bought from Walmart. These are just kind of miscellaneous yarns, most of which I bought from Walmart and I have them in plastic bags. Just basic acrylics. This is all acrylic. And then of course on the very top I have more ice yarns. Macaroon and white yarn. Most of these, all of these, the gray was like $5 a piece and the white was $3 a piece. And if you look at macaroon, M-A-C-A-R-O-N, all of those are $3 for a pack of eight. And you get more than 100, 100 yards on each ball of yarn. And it's 100% acrylic. No, scratch that. 50% acrylic, 47% 40, polyamide, and 3% elastin. Polyamide makes the acrylic so much softer. Oh my goodness, it's so much softer. I made just a small little coaster just to test out how it feels. It's so much softer than than um, acrylic alone. And then I also made a little sugar basket with that macaroon yarn. Just a little sugar basket. I did four rows of half double crochet in the bottom. I used the magic circle and closed it up. This is all half double crochet. And then I did back post just regular single crochet for the bottom so that, so that the flat bottom would not curve like a bowl and it'll sit up straight. And then I did five rows up and half double crochet. And I keep all my sugar in here so when I make my coffee, I have it here in my kitchen. And I got my coffee pot and my little cabinet here. I got my coffee creamer and my filters, the stuff. So that's all I have guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, prayers for everyone's health, not just mine, but for everyone's health. It sucks being sick. Um, I've had body aches for like two days, migraine, chills, just a variety of stuff. But um, they tested me for COVID again at the hospital. I got my vaccinations April 5th and then May 6th. And since I had flu-like symptoms this morning, they tested me for COVID again. So I pray it's not COVID because... With all this crap going around and the virus mutating, anybody can get it even if you've been vaccinated. That's what I've been hearing. So I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is healthy. Um, prayers for you if you're not healthy right now, if you're feeling crappy. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for right now. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. If you like any of my contact, please subscribe. At least hit the like button for me, please. That would greatly... Um, help out my channel. Thank you guys so much. Sincerely. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and having a great crochet day. Bye-bye.